This is between Mr. Raila Amolo Odinga and Mr. Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, dated the 30th April 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, as we begin the fresh round of political negotiation in our country, leading to the August 2022 general election, I've been compelled to release the above document in order to answer in part some of the criticism that has been labeled against me to wit, and I quote, the indecisive kingmaker, end of quote, and the often quoted statement made before the NTV reporter, I believe that's my son Kennedy, to the effect that I would be a fool to support Honorable Raila Odinga a third time without a measure of reciprocity. In releasing this document, it is imperative to mention that I've tried twice to have Professor Makao Mutua convene a meeting between me and my brother, Honorable Raila Odinga, in his capacity as the depository of this most important document. On his part, Professor Macau stands in breach of his obligation under the agreement since he has already joined Honorable Raila Odinga's campaign team. By accepting nomination of the Orange Democratic Movement to run as president for the fifth time, <coughs> I believe my brother Raila Odinga has committed an irreparable material breach of this agreement. Now, that's a legal term defined, I quote, irreparable material breach shall mean a repudiation, reneging, a violation, or an, an ouster in any way of any of the articles of the agreement. Attending the ODM delegates conference, at which my brother was named a presidential flag bearer, would have meant on my part a quiescence of the impugned breach. I wish, therefore, to state as follows. My brother has the option of abiding by the terms of this live legal agreement life binding legal agreement and thereby emerging, in my view, as a true national, regional, and indeed continental democratic hero, or he has the option of choosing to act in utter defiance and repudiation of the agreement and thereby compounding the trust deficit. In both cases, Honorable Raila Odinga remains a brother with whom I've labored in absolute good faith to bring true democratic change to our country. It's already publicly expressed. I'm ready to work with him again under the three pillar grand coalition government for the sake of our nation. I urge that we engage in fresh negotiations. I urge that as we engage in fresh negotiations, this document forms the basis of such negotiation. I want to give you just a copy. I'll actually spread. I will uh, I'll distribute the copies of the agreement. But I just want to highlight one or two small paragraphs in it. Uh, it's actually entitled The NASA Deal. And uh, by its nature, this document was a secret document. But it starts by saying this memorandum is a binding legal agreement between the parties. And the parties have been explained. And uh, I've highlighted the paragraph which reads, the commitments made herein shall bind principle H read Raila, and Principal Q, read Kalonzo Musioka, 
in both the 2017 and 2022 elections. By this agreement, the parties agree that Principal H will be NASA's presidential nominee and that Principal Q will be his running mate. And then most importantly, this agreement will remain valid until the 2022 elections, whether or not NASA wins the 2017 uh, presidential elections. Please underline the words, whether or not we won the elections. And on the articles of agreement, I highlight, I highlight principle two. Principle H agrees in a public MOU to serve one term and publicly endorse Principal Q as a presidential candidate for 2022. Therefore, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, if anybody has had any difficulty whatsoever with my sense of negotiation <laughs> and uh, my ability to play it straight and candidly, I hope today I've acquitted myself. I see the very nice headline, headlines today in the media, the tension, this tension between me and my brother. I want to tell you there's none. And uh, in effect, some of you say, I, I ask His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta to take leadership of the current round of negotiations. I think it's right and proper, considering he has a sense of authority, he's a sitting head of state, um, and whether some of you want to refer to him as an outgoing president, in my view, they are out, uh, the presidents who have been outgone in our region and still hold great sway, not only in their countries, but in the countries of the African region. That is why somebody like President Obasanjo my friend, President Kikweta, who is actually in town, and others continue to be revered heads of state. I see President Uhuru Kenyatta praying, playing that role into the future. But I want to urge that he plays even presently. So ladies and gentlemen, this was my personal statement. Um, as you can see, I don't even know where these uh, Washmimas have come from. Somebody must have sent. <laughs> somebody must have sent uh, a tweet or something, a hashtag personal statement, uh, and then people felt, yeah, the true volcano is here, and indeed it is, and and you should not expect anything. I promise the country, in the days past, that they are going to see a different Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka, and we therefore embark on this. We have already been clear on our Buffalo approach, the Buffalo soldier approach. We've been very clear on our clarion call, Hakika Tutaweza, been very clear in uh, our commitment to literally end corruption in our country. Thank you. I don't know whether anybody would want to ask a question in the light. I'll ask uh, Dennis to give you copies of this agreement, and one of which I'll give to Apostle Collins, to rep representing the church, because the church is the conscience of the nation. So that this, I intend to, I, I ask the Kenyans engage in a very honest conversation about this document. In fact, this is my contribution to intensifying our democratic practice. So that leaders, going forward, will not want to uh, cut corners where it is clear what they should do with regard to the commitments. We do this not, not, not because I want anything personal or that I'm seeking public sympathy. Far from it. Far from it. I just want Kenyans to have a very honest conversation about this matter. So Apostle Collins, I'll give you a copy on behalf of the church. And I ask the church takes a role. Even when, when leaders... When leaders sit <laughs> between themselves, I think they need people to pray for them. I'm very prayerful, but I think I need help. <laughs> Thank, you, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.
So the matter is so clear. Um, I I still insist that we are prepared to proceed on the basis of um, a three legged stool, the grand coalition approach, and uh, we therefore wish Kenyans all the very best as we get into this season. We should get into this season with the full confidence that this is a nation under God. And leaders should continue, when they issue commitments to each other, they should endeavor to honor them.